Aquarius. Hello, my loves, and welcome back. Supreme gratitude for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. We're going to tap into your weekly energy because I've already started doing the weekly energy and forgot to do the monthly energy. So next week, we will do monthly energy reads for the collectives, okay? Work with me. All right, you can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node. We're going to tap into your weekly energy reading. Also, make sure you check out the Aquarius Only channel, okay? I read for you guys on this channel and the other channel. All right. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node. Start at the bottom of the deck, baby. Your own energy. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Yes. Celebrations. You are ready to bring new and existing things into your life. You are ready to bring new and exciting. I'm sorry. Exciting things into your life. I was like, existing? Wait, what? New and exciting things. So I see you celebrating this week, okay? You have flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours, okay? Ashe. So be 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 generous, all right? Give people their flowers, all right? People around you, if they need some type of help or assistance or something like that, don't look down on nobody. Do what you got to do, honey. But, hey, it's up and it's stuck for you, Aquarius. This week is looking pretty good. I said, when I started doing the weekly readings, I said, Spirit must have had something that they wanted me to go in depth about this week with um, some of the signs. So, we're going to stick with the weekly energy. <laughs> All right. All right. So, you got the Empress here. Positive movement forward. Third eye chakra. Ashe. New beginnings at the bottom of the deck. Yes. Full card. Yeah. So looking good. Looking great. All right. Looking good. Looking great here, Aquarius. Uh, Empress energy. Positive movement forward. Third eye chakra. So, okay. I feel like you already seen this coming. Okay. Just make sure that you are balanced and level with your mind. And, 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 and not listen to, make sure that you listen to your intuition and not man. Okay. It is, it's so important. Listen to your intuition and not man doing this journey. I feel like you're on a journey. You are an impress. All right. Whether you're male or a woman, you are an impress energy, feminine energy, divine feminine energy, creating things, birthing things, birthing life businesses you're on your a1 sauce i see you moving forward i see things happening and aligning for you this week especially in finances okay so there could be some type of um either finances coming in for you or there's going to be something that that has to do with getting to the money that's moving forward you're going to be extremely excited completely new beginnings okay so make sure you pay attention to your intuition this week more than you do man. Man can be man or woman. I'm not being specific. But your intuition is heightened this week. Okay? You are the most intuitive sign of the Zodiac Aquarius. You are the I know sign. You're the fourth seer. So pay attention to the messages that you are getting. And sleep. And overall. Because you get messages. You don't have to be sleep to get messages. Okay? To some people they can they can channel. Right? All right, so let's clarify fertility. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups. Yeah, there's some celebration here. Some somebody's being happy. Somebody's gonna be very happy. All right, someone's going to feel rewarded. All right, again, that's this movement forward with finances. So something here is happening for you. All right, positive movement forward, okay? Six of, six of uh, swords here. Something's moving forward here. Like, whereas if you if you felt like you had a lot on your plate or you were carrying a load, you didn't have any assistance, you're moving past that energy, right? Positive movement forward here. Twice, confirmation. Let's see, what else do we have for Empress, for fertility? I should. 
Yeah. So you're moving past that. Like if, if, if you were in a position to where you couldn't give, okay, you couldn't give, you couldn't assist, or someone wasn't giving or assisting to you, I see you like working with them, you know, if, if like if they need help, they may come in and need help from you, star energy, your energy here, okay, you're going to stand out, you're going to be able to assist someone this week, okay, um, it could be a test for you as well, for you to be able to assist someone that needs help, even though you already know, you know, <laughs> I feel like you're going to get some type of confirmation or communication in reference to your business this week. Yep. Wish fulfillment. All right. Wish fulfillment here. Something that you didn't see coming. Something that you could have walked away from. Or once you get this opportunity, I feel like you're walking away from something that was boring to you. You got the Ace of Cups here. You're walking away or they're walking away. Somebody else is walking away from something that was bored. So look forward to that for whoever this collective is. All right, let's clarify positive movement for it, for the collective of Aquarius. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Like someone is letting go. That's on here. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> like someone is no longer like judgment. Yeah. They're having an awakening. They're, they're they're no longer like holding on to energy from the past. They're no longer staying in their head. They're no longer going after something that's not serving them. It's maybe it's something that you really, really wanted. But now it's like, eh, eh, you know. No, I don't feel like doing all of that. I don't feel like I don't feel like putting that much energy into that. I don't feel like doing you know what I'm saying? It's something that you're 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 shifting your gears on emotionally this week. Whereas you 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 wanted something to happen and this week you're like, yeah, no, okay, yeah, no. Fool card, yep, yeah, new beginnings, taking a blind leap of faith, going for it. Now, something is coming up that you are not expecting, or this person may not be expecting you to just completely remove your energy from them out of nowhere. The world card, the devil card, all right? A cycle is completing. Someone could just be very toxic, all right? Being, you know, you, you felt attached to them, or they have some type of attachments, and you're just like, I can't really go forward with this situation, yeah. So the Ten of Swords just tried to pop out. But it's a positive movement for it. Like, this is something that needed to be done. Hermit in reverse. Maybe maybe you're you're seeing a side of this person that you've never seen before. Ooh, Ten of Cups and the Lover's card. King of King of Swords. Aqua. Somebody could be somebody could be walking away. This could be them walking away from someone else because the, like they don't see any more positive movement going forward and what you're what's coming in that you're not expecting is this person saying, "Look, okay, look, I want to make this work, okay? Like I like this over. I, I the situation is over." If they were with a Virgo, they could be leaving a Virgo. Your Hermit is in reverse. 10 of Cups, Lovers card, King of Swords, like somebody's coming in. To move forward or you're walking away from something for positive action to go forward on yourself but you got wish fulfillment here something is going to completely catch you off guard this week there's going to be someone that's going to going to going to reach out to you and, and have a conversation and like tell you how they feel and it's going to be like wait what where's all this coming from what do you mean <laughs> remember that meme <laughs> that little white boy was like what <laughs> he was backing away. Like, I feel like that's how you're going to be. You'll be like, what? What? You, what? what? Where does this come from? What is this? What are we talking about here? Like, somebody's like, whoever this collective is, somebody's coming out of this energy and saying, like, hey, shit, what's up? <laughs> okay, let's clarify. Third eye chakra. Okay. Now, just because they coming in don't mean that you finna take it, right? Because you do have the tower here, okay? But I, I kind of don't feel like this is a bad tower. 
I feel like with the third eye chakra and the two of swords in reverse, like now you're seeing things clearly. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you could have been mentally conflicted, not knowing a person's angle, not knowing how things were going. And like, now you see things clearly like, ah, oh, yeah, I know what you want now. Okay. I get it now. You know what I'm saying? You see things clearly, but you do have the tower here because you, you knew maybe you're like, okay, in order for us to work, we got to tear this down to rebuild it because it wasn't built on a sturdy foundation. <sighs> Yeah. Something could be clear to you now that, that, that someone caused a, a tower moment or why the tower moment was caused. Why did you end up in a, in a moment to feel defeated, right? Like the moon is illuminating, like what happened, how it happened, right? And, and, and I feel like what you're going to hear is like you're going to already know it. It's going to be a deja vu moment here. It's like you've already came up with it in your head. The spirit God's already put it on your heart and you're finally like, um, it's like one plus one equals two, right? <laughs> Someone wasn't vibrating at their highest frequency. Someone wasn't being godly like. This may be the person that comes in that needs your help, all right? And, and the thing is, this is your test. Are you going to be generous enough to help this person? flowers right so yeah se seven of ones in reverse so i feel like i feel like you're just someone is just no longer trying to protect their energy from you someone wants to work on this situation someone wants to invest energy into this situation someone is like whatever i gotta do whatever i gotta go through i'm gonna have patience three of cups and the ten of wands in reverse so it's like someone's someone shedding their skin shedding their old skin yeah Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Okay, Queen of Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone here is like holding on to like like whoever this person is, they're holding on to what 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 has happened. Like they still have trauma. You know, the wounded, the wounded lover here. But they do want to talk about a new beginning and give some type of clarity on that. Yeah. This could have been something that was supposed to be over, but it's not over. Yeah, four, four of wands. Yep. And the ten of swords in reverse with the high priestess here. Yeah. So I, what, what I'm getting is that this person is going to talk to you on a level that you are not expecting. The message that they're giving you, you're not expecting the message. Even if, like, you may communicate with this person, it's not like that. What this person is coming to say to you is what you're not expecting this week. Let them talk. Let them get it out. But I feel like you're going to get a lot of clarity on some things this week. I feel like you, it, it's going to it's gonna give you peace because... Even if this person was wrong or whatever the case may be, I think you're moving past it because, you know, you gotta. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why, why hold on to a grudge? But there's new beginnings for you this week. You know, there's new beginnings. So whatever this is, like, whatever they, whatever was meant to, to break you or destroy you, it didn't work. So there's no point to hold on to ill feelings or anything like that. But also be mindful that shakes do snatch, shed their skin. Once a snake, always a snake. So, yeah, man. <laughs> Y'all come back and let me know what the 411 and the T is <laughs> during the week. Like, yes, SG, they called me and, and, and broke it down. Like, yeah, somebody's coming in to, like, to, 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 to speak their mind and speak their truth to you, okay? So, that's some good stuff. Make sure you guys like the video. Drop a comment below if it resonates. And if you like the readings, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. Yes, I do read for you guys on two different channels, but also make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node signs to, so the message can be completely clear. Not all the time you're going to hear from one reader, you know, and, 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 and everything that you need to know. So watch your other signs so it all can come together, okay? This is the only channel that I read for all 12 zodiacs. I shave.